This video is designed to help you start a small barbecue business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a small barbecue business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful small barbecue business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. If you want to start a small barbecue business, you need a clear barbecue business plan. Almost every successful business today began with a business plan. The business plan will clearly explain how you intend to serve your clients and how your business will operate. Purchase the equipment and supplies you need. Starting a small barbecue business requires a lot of equipment. You'll also need to price out all the equipment necessary to cook and serve your barbecue. Grills, smokers, utensils of service, refrigerators, and other equipment are among the top items you'll need for barbecued food. Develop a full menu for your restaurant. Prepare a menu for your festival food concession. As a result, planning a menu in which items can be served quickly to your customers will help you make more money. You should select foods that require a minimal number of ingredients and can be prepared in a few simple steps. Choose a suitable legal entity for your business. In order to open a barbecue restaurant business, you can form a general partnership, an LLC, or even a sole proprietorship. As a general rule, a sole proprietorship is the ideal form of business structure for small-scale barbecue restaurants, especially if you are just starting out in a small neighborhood, with one store. However, LLCs are preferred for obvious reasons. If your objective is to grow and have chains across the United States of America, and other countries of the world, choosing a sole proprietorship would not be the best choice. An LLC or general partnership, will do the trick for you. A limited liability company protects you from personal liability. You will only be at risk of losing the money you invested into the limited liability company, if something goes wrong. Unlike corporations, limited liability companies are easier to operate, and don't require a board of directors, shareholder meetings, or other formalities. Choose a service delivery method. Choosing your preferred service delivery method is the first step in this type of business. Your options for delivering barbecue services to your customers are not limited. A portable grill or smoker will be ideal for these service delivery methods in a vacant lot or an open space. Obtain licenses and permits. A license is a requirement for food businesses as well, just like others. It is important to obtain all the necessary information about food business licensing, from your local and state government, including information about serving requirements. Open a business bank and get credit card. Personal asset protection is enhanced when you open a specialized business banking and credit accounts. When your personal and professional accounts are mixed, your personal assets, your home, automobile, and other valuables, are vulnerable if your barbecue business is sued. Furthermore, learning how to establish business credit may assist you in receiving credit cards and other financial resources in your barbecue company's name, rather than yours, improved interest rates, greater lines of credit, and more. Hire customer-oriented employees. You can't probably handle everything that needs to be done alone regardless of what operating system you pick. To work the grills and take orders, you'll probably need to hire extra help. Your barbecue business success will be greatly determined by the quality of workers you employ. How much does it cost to open a barbecue restaurant? The average cost to open a small barbecue restaurant starts from a couple thousand. According to a survey, you will need to invest around $150,000 or $2,800 per seat to open your small barbecue restaurant. The next part of the video is not specific to a small barbecue business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the small barbecue business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful small barbecue business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4 basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills and techniques if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer with many employees and millions of dollars in equipment to the lone window washer with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills required for these two extremes are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, 
may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs, try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items, you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question. How much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, 
delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection, will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a small barbecue business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free small barbecue business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.